Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you guys how to add a new trunk to your Magnus building. So, first of all, you're gonna need to add a provider to your Magnus building. The provider is the entity selling you uh, the minutes, so you should register a new one here. So, name, you can put in any name you'd like. Um, about credits, I advise you guys to not add credit directly here. Um, the credit control setting is if it's enabled uh, when your credit reaches zero or negative, um, the, the system will stop trying to send calls to this provider. So be careful with this option. So Let's say we want credit control and save. Now we have our test provider here and uh, it, it isn't gonna work even if we register a new trunk um, because we don't have credit and we have credit control enabled. So if we go to billing and go to refill provider and create a new refill and select our provider. We can recharge uh, our provider with credit. So let's save it. And now our provider should have credit here. This is the uh, the most recommended way to add credit to your provider. Okay. So now that we have a provider configured, we should go to trunk and add a new trunk here. So in this menu here, uh, we should select the provider that is giving us th this trunk. So we can set any name we like. So here we have these basic configs, user password host. If you have any, uh, any questions about those, be sure to ask, but they are very simple. And we also have this help balloons here to help you. Um, these are the codecs allowed, so you can simply select the ones that you want this trunk to so to support. The provider tag, you can also select whatever tag you'd like. Uh, regarding backup trunks here, you can select another trunk that will receive the call if this trunk fails to complete the call. Okay, so we also have the status active or inactive. Um, you can select whichever you'd like. Oh, I don't want to use this trunk for a while, but I don't want to delete it. So simply set it to inactive. Also, um, if you have a backup trunk selected and you set this to inactive, uh, it is going to always send to the backup trunk. All right. So also there, there's a setting here. If it's busy, busy, then it's going to send to the backup trunk. Uh, you can also read more on the balloons and register if you set it to yes it's gonna get the details from here and generate the register string and you're also able to add it as you seem as you deem fit so here in additional information we have some other asterisk configurations that you can set here also sms related settings board everything and also here in the asterisk as extra config you can as also set some other configs here so after that you can simply save the config and you should have your trunk configured correctly be sure to also set it to active if you want it to work and now you should be able to send calls through your new trunk if you guys have any questions, please refer to the Telegram group where our entire community can help you with any questions you have. And also, if you need paid support, please go to the Magnum Solution website and you can hire the developers of the system itself to help you with any issue or question you have. And also, please like the video and subscribe to the channel to keep updated on new videos and everything that we post to our channel. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.